Stevie Wonder, first of all, on behalf of the UN family, a warm welcome. We're so happy that you're going to be working with us and, and particularly try to uh, focus on the situation of persons with uh, disabilities. You've already done so much uh, in this uh, regard. You've worked with the U.S. President's uh, Committee on People with Disabilities, the Children's Diabetes Foundation, the Junior Blind of America. How do you think that uh, being a U.N. messenger of peace I is going to uh, um, enhance your ability to help others? Well, a messenger of peace, before I say all that, I want to just say I'm very, very honored to have this honor bestowed upon me to be a member of the United Nations as a messenger of peace. Um, I'm committed um, to this and uh, I'm just honored and overjoyed. If I can use one of the titles of my songs. <laughs> um, I think it really says it in what it is. Um, I do plan to spread the message of a great need for the world to pay attention to that 10% of the world as some um, over um, uh, 650 million people uh, with disabilities. Um, we can never forget, meaning the other 90% of the world cannot forget those of us who are, are with disabilities. Uh, if anything, there has to be a desire for the world to want to see every single person on this planet uh, with a disability be able to have accessibility to the world no different than they have. Uh, this is something that shows by you committing yourself to making sure that you play your part in making the world more accessible by all means that you do have the ability to care for more than just yourself and those who have not any physical challenges. So I will spread that message around the world. There's technology that is available um, that would make the world far more accessible for people who are physically challenged, whether it be that they be blind or paraplegics or quadriplegics or deaf. Uh, in my case, uh, there's a unit, and this is not the only company that makes things, but I just so happen to have this particular thing here, that if I'm by myself, and there's no one there. I'd like to know the color of clothes that I'm going to pick out for myself. So by just pushing this button and putting this on my the clothing, black. it tells me that I'm wearing something that's black. Or if I was wondering what you had on. Dark purple. So the point is, now, that makes m me uh, independent. So I think that uh, accessibility means independence and independence means freedom uh, there is no reason why this technology uh, can't be uh, subsidized by uh, governments or Harvard's down through companies making it more uh, available uh, this cell phone which is a great thing this uh, phone here uh, the iPhone uh, is accessible and I'm able to uh, use this phone uh, in a way that I can by having just the software, the speech software, the voiceover. So I'm able to do the very thing uh, that a sighted person is able to do. Uh, as well as it has a technology, the software for a person who is deaf. So my thing is making the, te the technology accessible, uh, available, uh, and more affordable by it being subsidized. So I'm going to speak about this um, everywhere that I go. And if I have the honor of going uh, at many places that may be 
normally I would not uh, go, I'll, I'll go there. Because at the end of the day, if I've been blessed with the gift of song and the opportunity um, by God to do his work in this way, it is truly my joy to do so. Do you think that uh, young people today are, are really uh, uh, aware of uh, the situation of people with disabilities? What, what could be done for, for young people and students in schools in particular? I know you, you feel strongly about uh, um, youth in this regard. Well, you know, I, I'm very, um, I think mainstreaming, for instance, is very, very good. Um, people who are with a, a uh, disability... Uh, to be able to uh, be integrated into the normal society, but I, I must tell you, for me, I enjoyed the uh, fact that I went to the Michigan School for the Blind, that the school was set up in a way that allowed me to understand my blindness and be able to understand the things that I could do uh, in an environment that, that did not make me feel inhibited or feel like, oh, I've got to be this way and I've got to feel weird about me being blind or being ashamed of it. Uh, there were other blind students there or those who were um, partially sighted with low vision. And so there were ways um, that were set up that made the various things that we wanted to do accessible, like uh, being able to be on a track team, understanding what it was to to run, um, uh, being on a wrestling team, uh, bowling, uh, roller skating, swimming, all the various uh, things that uh, sighted people do was set up in a way that would make it accessible to us by allowing us, for instance, in the case of skating, uh, roller skating, the, the speakers were set up in a way where we would know when we were facing the sound in a certain uh, the sun was facing this way, uh, it was meant then for us to turn, to go t uh, the other way, um, to the right or to the left or however we're going. So uh, the key is having a chance to uh, be able to um, understand what your blindness uh, was or is and be able to then from there learn how to work and understand how you can better um, do what you need to do in a sighted world. Uh, and then um, to then go to a mainstream situation to me would be the way I would like to see it be, where a person is able to understand what they can do um, with a disability, but then be able to understand how they can integrate what they uh, are able to do and do it as they can in the sighted world. Finally, there's a question that everybody has in mind. You've already produced and performed many songs on the subject of uh, HIV, AIDS, uh, homelessness, domestic violence. Uh, are you in your new capacity as a UN Messenger of Peace going to think about songs uh, uh, on the subject of people with disabilities but in the UN context? The great thing about being a songwriter is that you can write about anything you want and obviously um, I will be uh, inspired to write uh, about, yes, uh, people with disabilities in the way that would be most appropriate to write about it, uh, to write about the environment uh, in a way um, that is most appropriate, uh, dealing with climate change. So uh, the sky is the limit. You give me the information, we will write about it. <laughs> well. Steve Wonder, again, thank you very much. We're greatly honored to have you as part of our UN team. It is my joy and my honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.